الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دا ٹاپک آف ٹوڈیز لیکچر از فیکٹر افیکٹنگ دا ریٹ آف انزائم سیکشن آئی ہیو آلسو مینشن دا ریفرنس بلو ان دس ٹاپک وی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ دا فیکٹرز وچ آر انوالو ان دا ایسلریشن اینڈ ڈیسلریشن آف دا انزائم ایکشن اینی فیکٹر دیٹ کین چینج دا کیمسٹری اور شیپ آف دا انزائم مالیکیول اینڈ افیکٹس اٹس ایکٹیویٹی is known as factor it means that there are some factors which alternate the composition mechanism and shape of the enzyme molecule some factors are temperature substrate concentration and ph first of all i am going to explain you the factor temperature when there is a increase in temperature then the enzyme reaction increases automatically it shows that they are directly proportional to each other when one increases then other increases automatically then the term comes known as optimum temperature it is the specific term temperature at which enzymes works at its maximum level the term acceleration of enzyme reaction can be defined as when there is increase in temperature then heat adds in the activation energy as a result kinetic energy increases and acceleration of reactions takes place another term enzyme denaturation is also explained under this factor of temperature in this term it is explained that how denaturation takes place when temperature raises above the optimum level then heat energy increases the vibration of atoms of enzyme and the globular structure of enzyme is lost this is known as denaturation of enzyme it has negative consequences which are it rapidly decreases the rate of enzyme action number 2 it may be blocked completely in this graph it is showed that when temperature increases then molecule gain kinetic energy optimum temperature is also shown and after that when temperature raises above the optimum level then enzyme denaturation takes place the second factor is substrate concentration when substrate concentration increases then the rate of enzyme reaction also increases it also has direct relation when one increases then another also increases if enzyme concentration is kept constant and amount of substrate is increases then a point is reached where any further increase in substrate does not change the rate of reaction anymore the term saturation can be explained as when the active sites of all enzymes are occupied any more substrate molecule do not find free active site this is known as saturation and reaction doesn't takes place it means that when substrate molecule don't find free active sites on enzyme then no reaction doesn't increases then no reaction takes place in this graph it is showed that when the substrate concentration increases the rate of reaction also increases and after that saturation takes place which is shown by straight line the third and last factor is ph firstly optimum ph is defined as the specific ph at which enzyme works at its maximum level when there is slight change in ph then retardation of enzymes takes place one more important thing is that there is specific optimum ph for every enzyme for instance pepsin which is working in stomach is active in low medium and while trypsin working in small intestine show activity in high ph when there is change in ph then it affects the ionization of the amino acids at the active site in this graph optimum ph is shown which is the peak level of the enzyme reaction and after increase in optimum ph retardation takes place students if you have any question then you can ask in the comment section thank you allah hafiz